All right, guys, welcome back. This is a brand new day, even though the code looks the same, and this should be a brief, delightful, easy lesson for us. So, um, please make sure that the first thing you do, you should have your code from yesterday open. You're still going to go to file duplicate and make a copy. And the reason why you guys are doing that is I want you to have two distinct projects, one with clicks and one without, so that you guys can look back and see the difference. This is a great lesson to leave some code comments in, um, just so that it's a very clear distinction for you. Um, today, we're going to look at just one way that you can make things clickable. There's a few ways in JavaScript, there's a few ways in P5, and they all kind of have their own um, benefits or like differences, I guess. Um, and I, I just want to make sure that that's really clear to us. So, um, we're going to do this with the line from yesterday. We're going to make it so that this line only changes size when I have clicked on the line. Um, and we're going to look at a few different things we could do here. So the first thing we're going to do is just make it clickable and then we'll start messing with it and talking about some of the pros and cons. So this is going to blow your mind, guys. Um, I'm going to do it right inside this conditional. So after collide point line, after this first parenthesis before the last one, notice when you click next to it, it boxes it for you. I can see that these two parentheses go for collide point line. They are not my outermost parentheses for the conditional. I'm going to add in an and. Remember that is two ampersands that live above your seven key. Just hit shift and put two ampersands in there. And I'm going to add in this Boolean variable that is already built into P5, like mouse X, mouse Y called mouse is capital I pressed capital P. All mouse is pressed does is it determines are you clicking your mouse or not. If you're clicking the mouse, it reports true. If you are not clicking the mouse, it reports false. So once that is there, I'm going to hit play. You will now notice that when you have hit play and it's loaded, I'm on very slow ranch Wi-Fi still, when I hover over my line, it doesn't work anymore. And that's because it is no longer enough to just have my mouse on top of the line. Now my mouse must be on top of the line and I must be clicking. And as long as I am clicking and holding my mouse down, it will get fatter. As soon as I stop, it gets skinny again. And this is like the first thing that we need to talk about. There may be programs where you want something to turn away when you're clicking and then turn back when you're not clicking. But sometimes I want to be able to click and have something stay. So this is one example where we might not want an else statement. If I get rid of this else statement, I'm just going to go ahead and comment it out. Now when I hit play and I click, you'll see that it gets fat and it stays fat. That's so cool, guys. So I could somewhere else maybe have a button that like makes this skinnier. You'll also notice that right now when I click, this is just one size. If I wanted to, instead of having it just grow one size bigger, I could have it grow bigger every time I click. So I am going to put in, instead of L weight equals 15, I'm going to say that L weight is equal to whatever it was before. So L weight again, plus one. Now when I click, I have to hit play again because I have to run it again. I hover, nothing happens. I click, it gets a little bigger. I click, it gets a little bigger. I can keep clicking and it will keep getting larger and larger and larger and larger and it never ends. So there's a few things I could do to prevent this. Um, maybe I don't want it to go above a certain size. I could add another and in here and this is completely optional guys, but I could say that as long as L weight is less than a hundred, it'll keep getting bigger. Um, so now I can click, it gets big, it gets big, it gets big, it gets big, but at a certain point it stops. And that's just like an option we can toss out there. It is not necessary to make these programs run correctly. It is just something I want us to talk about. Um, something else you guys might notice is that when you click right now, L weight gets larger by sometimes more than one. You can like see it grow. And that is because of the draw function running in a loop. It is running in a loop and as long as you are clicking, it's going to keep adding one, and often it is faster than we are. So it's going to add faster than we can stop. Um, we will, at points later, talk about functions that involve clicks that just do it once, and it's okay that sometimes we're clicking for longer. Um, we are not doing that today just because I don't want to overwhelm you with things. We are just trying to make things clickable, y'all. 
So here's what your task is going to be. In this new duplicated version, I want you to go back through the your task that you have completed. I have not because this is just still my code along. And I want you to make them clickable. So it might not always be the L weight equals L weight plus one. You might just reset it to something new when you are clicking, like resetting it to 15 or resetting it to a color. Um, but try just taking off that else statement, just comment it out and just see if you can make each of these change when it, you click and stay when you have clicked. Um, again, guys, super light today. We're going to get more into this as days go on. We just want to practice making things that when you click, something else happens in the program. If you have questions, get at me. Hopefully this is a nice light thing to end your week. Bye, guys.